Hi Geeks and Gamers, we're back and we're going to do a 10 minute takedown. Uh, Phil's going to run us through how to play the game. It's a dexterity game and apparently it takes 10 minutes to be taken down. Yes, it's about 10 minutes. What happens is we each have a flying saucer which goes in front of us and this is our base. This is where we start. Take the die, put it in your flying saucer, hold down the end and attack. Oh, and that was a terrible attack. That was. And then my flying saucer moves all the way over here. Which he's on a cheap a little bit, so there I'm we go. just a dirty cheater. And then the die goes to the next player. And what you're trying to do is land on these targets in the middle of the table. I'm terrible too, apparently. So I'm right next to it. Now, okay, real quick. That's a UFO. That's a... Looks like a giant bug to me. Giant bug. And that's a robot. Giant robots. And that's it? That's the whole die? That's it. So I guess that makes it your turn. Yes. So it's kind of like putt-putt. So my die has landed on the target, and the die icon matches the target icon. That means when I claim my reward, and the way it works, regardless of where it's laying on the target, you'll always take the outermost ring. So this is my point, but since the icons match, I flip it, and I have two points at the end of the game. Very cool. And now then my UFO goes back to my base. Oh, and it's now the next player's turn. Well, that's interesting. And the targets get smaller and more difficult. I'm not so good at this. It's okay. I can roll dice. I can there you are. Them. Um, so it's kind of like. Miniature golf. Um, I I think of it kind of almost frisbee golfish. Okay. Kind of and your UFO moves to where you last were, and then the next player's turn. Wow. I'm gonna lose. And okay, what do you have to you do never win? Know. So you play until all the targets are gone. Then you add up the points. Most points wins. Oh, I tried being gentle. <laughs> no, 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 that's me. Oh, that's yeah, you. I have to put me back. And it matches. <laughs> UFO goes home. Next player. I think my UFO is about to go home. Or not. <laughs> and you get better at it as you go. You get some aim. Yeah, playing with one of the designers is probably not the best I, the best way to win. Oh, I almost had that. Let's try this again. Have <laughs> you ever played Pitch Car? No. Oh, Pitch Car is fantastic. Uh, I'm pretty it's, good uh, at charts, though. It's, ooh, <laughs> that's old school and dangerous. It is dangerous. Uh, pitch Car is a little, um, Think about like tiny little wooden discs, uh -huh. and there's a sticker on it. It's a race car, and there's a track, and you're flicking the car around the track. Oh, Monster really City fun. is a game I'm really good so, at. So, unfortunately, the icons don't match here, so I only get one point. One point. Which? Five to zero. Um, let's give this a whirl. And once again, I... The, the ten minutes is clearly dependent upon uh, player skill. Uh, clearly, because I can't sweep this thing in 10 minutes. I need help. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try a new finger. Wait, maybe, uh, I'll, maybe I'll try the marbles technique. <laughs> <laughs> but this is how 10 minute takedown works, and it's up to four players and $10. Really? Only four players? Yeah. You, you could do this with more, couldn't you? You could. You would need more of the little flying saucer pieces oh, or wow. something like, to work with. Mars attacks wars and like have everybody going at the same time with multiple games. Yes. Like flying across the table at the same time, crashing into each other. Multiple tables, and if you jump from one ta table to the other, it's worth more points. Okay. I'm playing football now. <laughs> Did you see that? It, it jumped all the way across the table. And off the screen. Again. Oh, no match again. That's good for me. I'm just not getting any good points. 
and as you can see, as the, that's better. Really so what happens here is your flying saucer goes there, but it cannot overlap the target. Oh, so it has so to you'll move. drop it there and just slide it back a little bit. Okay. And as the targets get destroyed, they get smaller and smaller. Yeah, they get harder to hit. I'm just being totally wild and ridiculous in my flicking. <laughs> what happens there? It's got to leave the saucer completely to count. So I'm not so good at this. I thought I was gentle. <laughs> this is a really long shot. I consider this dexterity luck. I'm going to blame the ugly table, too. Yeah, blame the ugly table. It's intimidating. Oh. Yeah, it's not rolling over. Yeah. Part of it That's is my fault. Part of it is it. I don't want to hit it too hard because I did that yesterday. Hey. Lost a die. <laughs> Losing a die is not good. So oh, that'll go back to your base. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I think it was here. Ish. You match? No. No. Yay! It doesn't match. That's always good for me. No, it took me eight minutes to. The other thing that helps too is if you're a bit down closer to it. Now, of course, I'll probably hit the wall. That was a nice shot. That would have been better if I'd hit that. And the icons match. So Well, you did hit that. You just double. kept going right over it. <laughs> I think it's better if you can get the spin. Sort of. That was fine. It works a little too well close to the table. A little bit. I am getting crushed. <laughs> you have two points. I have two points. I didn't get shut out. That's a good thing. This is where the... Uh, this is, golf feel kind of comes in as you just work your way slowly into the target. This is where the skill comes in. Oh, I don't have any of that. That's not happening. Ah. Yeah, you almost have to get right next to the smaller... Tur what do I do? Do I go for a safe point or do I go for three points? It could be four points if you get really lucky. Hey, I moved it. Oh, well. Where it lands is where it lands. That's not the one I was going Which is for. also a really fun tactic when somebody's getting a little too close and if you can bump the target away from them. And the other rule that we haven't seen in effect yet is if you can land your die on another player's flying saucer, you send them home. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's not good. I didn't get enough points. <laughs> so it has to leave the flying saucer account. So, so I have to put it back? Yep, and you go again. I know you don't want to hit it too hard. That counts. That counts? Yes. Hey, it matches. And it matches, so double. I, I'm, th there's some balance that way. Because you get lucky like that, and you might come back in the game. I mean, you clearly have many points on me. But if I get another match, I think I'm back in the game. The other thing that we did uh, here was we had all five targets set up just to show them. Right. But in the rules with, oh, and a match. Excellent. In the rules, if you're just doing a two-player game, there's only three targets set up. Oh, so this would be over already. Yeah. That counts. It's leaning. No, it's not, actually. It's not. Oh. From it's my angle, it looked like air. It slid off, sadly. Yeah, with uh, two players, you use three targets. Three players, you use four. And four players, you use five. Oh, my gosh. And the rules actually have the different... Uh, there we go. Different oh, setups. the different setups are here? 
Yes. We'll do this. It's a little bit easier to see. And, and we have a how to play video on the Steam oh, the, game the site too. Very good. I see a lot of potential for this. It didn't leave. So I have to go again. <sighs> Yay! Boo! Is this comeback time? I don't know. Maybe. You're going to get on it and you're going to match it, so... This is... Point of no return, maybe. And it spins. Maybe, if I can get both fours... There's, if I keep doing that, you'll have everything. There's potential. But if I keep doing that, I won't have any more points. I've got six points, and he's got like 12. Oh, he's, no, he's got more like 20. <laughs> In scoring, nope, nope, easy. that was you. Sorry, I moved. Oh, you moved it for, for me. I was being helpful. I was counting. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Oh, I need these points. Yeah. Oh, he and just, it matches. He just sealed it, I think. Because here I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the two probably, or not. I was almost there. Fortunately, I'm way back here, and I've got to get up there. Yeah, but I thought you were gonna land on it. <laughs> Hey, it's that leading! Was, yes. Not a match. That though. was good. Well, points are points. Points are points. Oh. Had we have been playing the full version of the game, or the right number of planets, you would have shut me out. Yeah. It would have ended quite a while ago. Yep. But still, it's only. Nope. We did this in. We did the whole video so far in ten minutes. Really, we're down to this the, last the demo target. That was close. It takes a little bit of practice, people. All I did there was help you. Um, maybe move the target closer. <laughs> Come on, darn it! <laughs> I know it's it's a finesse job, and I'm not really into finesse. I'm more into. I'm gonna crush that wall. Yeah. Oh, being a a die roller, I thought I'd be good at this. But apparently now not. I'm just embarrassed. You're embarrassed. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> and it matches. Excellent. So now you add up all your points, which I have a total of ten, twelve. Math is hard. 12. I have 12. Math. I, I, I don't think I call it math. I think I call it pain. Okay. So what have I got? Wow. 10, 20, 6. He crushed me. He doubled my score. And that's Mars Attacks 10 minute takedown. That is awesome though. It's really silly. It, it, it's, a, it's a game you can teach anybody in five minutes. Oh, yeah. Totally. And then the last one is We've, uh, and there's not enough dexterity games. I agree. There should be more. They're there fun. More. And we've taken this out and played it on uh, just at a bar on the little countertop. Oh, it works great. I'm sure. That's perfect, actually, though. What house rules you add is not under our control. <laughs> oh. So, in other words, no, no, there's no other words. <laughs> well, thanks, Phil. Oh, it's, it's been a pleasure you. again. Um, and I'll have these up soon, shortly. Thank you, guys. Um, you should be seeing this soon. And if, I, if you don't watch the rest of my videos, I'll see you guys at Gen Con.